Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Word contains many standard multi-level list formats that let you create commonly used outlines and agendas. However, you can also modify the multi-level list styles in Word to create custom styles you can use within your documents. To modify a multi-level list style in Word, first apply the multi-level list style to modify to a list of items by selecting the list items to which to apply a new custom multi-level style within a document. Then click the Multi-Level List button in the Paragraph button group on the Home tab of the ribbon and choose the Multi-Level List style to modify from the drop-down menu. If you don't do this, then you will instead modify the last Multi-Level List you previously applied. After applying the style to Modify to the list items, then click the same Multi-Level List button again in the Paragraph button group on the Home tab of the ribbon. This time, Click the Define New Multi-Level List command in the drop-down menu that appears to open the Define New Multi-Level List dialog box. Then click a level within the list in this dialog box to modify from the hierarchy of levels in the Click Level to Modify list at the left side of the dialog box. A preview of the current formatting of all of the levels appears to the right of this list. Then enter the formatting for the number of the currently selected level into the Enter Formatting for Number field in the Number Format section below. If needed, to specify a specific font face for the level, click the adjacent Font button to open the Font dialog box. Then change the font as desired within the Font dialog box and click the OK button to apply it and return to the Define New Multi-Level List dialog box. To choose a numbering style for the selected list level, select one from the Number Style for this level drop-down. For secondary or later levels, to choose to continue the numbering from a previous level, select the desired previous level from the Include Level Number From drop-down. In the Position section, select an alignment from the Number Alignment drop-down. Then set the measurement at which to align the selected level on the horizontal ruler by typing it into the Aligned At field. Then set the measurement at which to align the text for the selected level on the horizontal ruler by typing it into the Text Indent At field. This is most often the same as the Aligned At value, but you can change it if desired. You can then repeat this process for the levels to modify in your new multi-level list style. Optionally, to apply indentation settings for all list levels, click the Set for All Levels button to open the Set for All Levels dialog box. Here you can set the measurement on the horizontal ruler at which to set the bullet slash number position for the first level and the text position for first level by entering the desired values into the two spinner boxes. You can then enter the measurement value by which to increment the additional indent for each level that subsequently follows the first by entering it into that spinner box. Then click the OK button in the Set for All Levels dialog box to apply that indentation to all the levels in the multi-level list. To set advanced multi-level list options in Word, Click the More button at the bottom of this dialog box if needed to expand each section. To set where to apply the changes to a level, use the Apply Changes To drop-down in the Click Level to Modify section. To link the level to a style, select the desired style from the Link Level to Style drop-down. To choose which level to show in the list gallery in Word, Select the desired list level from the Level to Show in Gallery drop-down. To type a name by which to refer to the list for advanced Word users who generate lists by using the ListNum function, type it into the ListNum field ListName field. To set the number at which to start the level, enter it into the Start at spinner box in the Number Format section. For secondary or later levels, to restart the numbering after a selected level, Check the Restart List After checkbox and then select the previous level after which to restart the numbering of the currently selected level. 
To apply legal style numbering, check the legal style numbering checkbox. To set the character with which to follow the level's number, select a choice from the Follow Number With dropdown in the Position section. If you select the tab character choice from this dropdown, then you can add a tab stop at the desired location by checking the Add Tab Stop checkbox and then entering the value you want into the adjacent spinner box. To collapse the advanced options if desired, click the less button to hide them again when you are finished. To apply the new multi-level list style after modifying it, simply click the OK button in the Define New Multi-Level List dialog box. You can apply it again later to lists whenever this document is opened by clicking the Multi-Level List button in the Paragraph Button group on the Home tab of the ribbon and then selecting it from the Lists and Current Documents Choices in the drop-down menu of Choices. Alternatively, to make this list available to all future documents on that device, Right-click the icon of the list in the drop-down menu that appears when you click the Multi-Level List button in the Paragraph Button group on the Home tab of the ribbon. Then select the Save in List Library command from the pop-up menu that appears to add the selected list to the list of Multi-Level List Formatting Choices that appears in the List Library section of this same drop-down menu. That then allows you to select it when applying multi-level lists to other documents you create in the future without needing to reopen the current document so that the choice appears within the Lists and Current Documents section of the same drop-down menu. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.